names, but how similar are sea lions to lions? The first and most intelligent animal that I ever worked with was the sea lion. Now, my job was to clean off the snot that they would fling onto the walls of the aquarium and to stuff dead fish with vitamins. My dad would pick me up from work and make me sit in the back seat with all the windows down because I smelled awful. So sea lions, we know that they're not the top predator in the ocean, but they have the word lion in their name. How similar are sea lions to lions? Oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. Oh, I've never... Okay. Very good. <laughs> So Bruce is our largest sea lion that we have here in our company. He is a full-grown South American sea lion, and he is hitting the scale at about two, uh, 720. Um, so he's very large. In the summer, he'll get a little smaller, and in the winter, he'll bulk up a little bit and get to close to 800 pounds or so. Right? You're a big boy. Is that right? Yes. Ah, winter <laughs> weight. Yes. It's a, it's a killer, man. Oh, baby. Ready? Hey. Say hi. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Looking at this guy, I can see some similarities between sea lions and lions. Yeah, absolutely. So sea lions got their name from the males. I'll bring them down here for a second so that we can see them good. So sea lions got their names because the boys have a big old mane on their neck. Yes, And they, they also do. have a little bit of a sea lion roar. Good, right here. Good boy. Ready? <laughs> I'll let him eat his fish and then we'll see if we can make some noise for everyone. All right, big boy. Hey. Come here. You want to say hello? Can you sing it? Sing it. You can do it. Sing it. Oh, oh. Say it one more time. All the way. Good. Sing it. You can do it, buddy. Ready? Sing it. Good. One more. Can you say hello? Sing it. Good boy. Oh my Good job. gosh. He really barrels like a lion. Yeah, he definitely has a little bit of a rumble down there, and you can see his mane is starting to dry out a little bit. It'll get all puffy, and he'll get nice and fuzzy. Good. Wow. So we know that lions can swim, but not that fast. Not as fast as these guys. Yeah. But the really impressive thing is their agility. Yeah, they're, they're very, very pretty out in the water. Um, they can do flips, and they can porpoise. All of this helps them move faster and helps them get away from predators when they're out there in the wild. Yeah, I guess that that's a big difference, that they're <laughs> the prey out in the yes, wild, and yes. lions are the predator. Yes, absolutely. So we have to think of lots of things to make us move and get out of the way faster, right? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. They have the ability to do what's called porpoising. Um, most people will be familiar with that, with how dolphins move through the water. Sea lions do the same thing. So they'll come up and down, and that helps them gain speed because they'll take their breaths when they come up yep. every time, and then they don't have to stop for a breath of air. That helps them to gain a lot of speed out there in the water. Kind of like the butterfly swim. Yeah, kind of. Which is actually Michael Phelps' <laughs> favorite, right? Can Key show off a little porpoising? Good. Hup. Hup. <laughs> I think she found a fish. <laughs> yeah, yep, she did. Good, can you show us some porpoising? There we go. Hup, you can do it. Beautiful. <laughs> Good so job. These guys have lion in their names. They do. But their closest land mammal relative. It's actually a bear. So they have the same skeletal system as a bear, which means in their front flippers and their back flippers, they have every digit, all five digits. Oh. Um, they have wrists. Um, very, very similar to a bear. I would say that our sea lions are very, very smart and they know us very well. They definitely know individual people. They know, you know, what they do with each person, what favorites are. Um, while intelligence isn't really easy to be measured, um, they are very, very smart animals, I would, I would definitely say. Um, so while we're working with the sea lions, there's certain things you'll realize that some of them learn quicker, um, some of them take a little bit longer, but our girls work on husbandry behaviors, which is them volunteering in their health care. They can open their mouths, they can show <laughs> off their eyes, show off their flippers. That helps us take better care of them by them offering those things for us. But they are also a lot of fun to do fun things with. Um, we have taught our sea lions how to recycle, which is really, really important, and we hope that a lot of people can start doing that more um, well, to help yeah. protect their wild counter parts so they can recycle they give kisses Hi. they're super smart yeah there's those kisses right yeah very good um, <laughs> sea lions do recognize verbal cues and hand signals so they pay attention to things that we're saying as well 
as watching what I'm doing with my hands. Well, yeah, it's amazing because humans, we think that we're the most intelligent species on the planet and most of us don't recycle, so it's pretty yeah. amazing that these guys can. They are, they're pretty amazing. And Kitty can show off her smile. Where's your smile? Yeah. <laughs> So she, she's listening to what I'm saying That's awesome. to catch the words that she's familiar with. That is awesome. Right, and you can show your smile with a hand signal. <laughs> it's a smile. Good. Very good girl. Um, I noticed their teeth, their gums are actually black. Yeah. So that's a plaque that's really healthy. It builds as they get older and it helps protect their teeth from the fish that they're eating. Keeps them nice and strong. So most of their time is spent on the land. Yes. Yeah. But as we go through climate change and our pH is dropping in the oceans, how might that come into play with their health? So a lot of the things with like pH that mostly it affects are their eyes. So sea lions' eyes are very sensitive. It's actually the first thing that gets affected um, out there in the wild. Um, so when the pH changes, that's gonna change how their vision is in the water and they're gonna go blind sooner, um, they're gonna become prey way easier, um, not being able to look at their surroundings. So that plays a big, big role into the longevity of each of the sea lions. Right, it'd be interesting to see if over time their whiskers start getting longer as an evolutionary yeah. role to start having more sensory if their, eye, if their vision does decrease. Yeah, it's definitely know, something it that's possible. Um, or they, you know, start to stay on land. A sea lion yep. can be on land as long as they please. Um, they do not need the water, which is also a misconception. Um, people assume that these animals have to be in the water. During mating season, they'll stay out for months at a time. Jellyfish, cuttlefish, sea lions? Come to find out, again, it's just a name. There are a lot of similarities between sea lions and lions. They have whiskers and they roar like lions. But the one similarity that will always be is that they are both amazing animals. And remember guys, anyone could be a scientist or an engineer with some passion, hard work, and innate curiosity of how the world works.